Welcome to the Scan Father Podcast. If you've got questions or problems, the Scan Father has the answers. The strength of a family, like the strength of an army, lies in its loyalty to each other. When you decide you want to be something, you can be it. All right, we're back. It's MRI Man, and welcome to the Scan Father. You may ask yourself, why the Scan Father? I'm going to tell you guys a little story. It started back in 2019. You know, as you know, I graduated in 2016, you know, did the outpatient 2017 to 2019. I had a job interview at a hospital. I was pumped, you know, I'm trying to make that cheddar. I'm trying to make that paper, man. You know, I put in the time. I put in the work. Anyway, I get to this interview and on the way to the goddamn interview, I got a, a freaking speeding ticket because, you know, I'm driving on this uh, this this freeway and it's just a straightaway and I kind of zoned out and I was, you know, I was speeding. Anyway, I get there. I'm getting the interview. I'm 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 nailing that shit, you know, because I'm, I'm on point. You know, I'm dialed in. All right. I'm dialed in. I drank my protein shake. You know, I worked out. I was in. I was I, w- I was ready to go. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, I, I handled it and, uh, I meet one of the techs, older guy, his name's Phil. And, um, uh, first of all, RIP to Phil, um, he did pass away. Um, uh, not sure how old he was. Uh, he was older, you know, maybe late sixties, early seventies. He passed away. Prayers go out to his family. He's a legend at this hospital. Uh, anyway, I meet him and, uh, you know, he they're calling him the Godfather MRI for several reasons. Um, you know, he's been doing it since the 80s uh, when it came out. Um, at this particular site, he used to actually drive the MRI trailer, set it up. He did everything. And he kind of, like, put that company on the back. Um, and he got it cracking, man. And uh, he was there when the, when they, they took the trailer. They built the actual... Um, uh, fixed site and you know he was there the whole time he was the guy and i was the tech that was going to be basically replacing him and uh he was dope man he was dope i respected him a lot he gave me a shot um he saw this the work that i put in and he respected it and he really was like the first um og tech that really like was you know tipped his hat off to me and he was like you know told the managers like this guy's ready and that was cool you know i went through the grinder uh at the outpatient center i was at prior to that in uh 2017 it was it was rough it was you know it got busy and it was a lot of stuff i didn't learn in clinicals and uh but yeah man the scan father this is a dedication to him and this is a new podcast basically this podcast I'm going to be answering your questions, um, stuff like that. I'm, I'm starting the MRI Mafia, MRI Mob, MOB. Um, it's going to be exclusive, and you're going to have to join the membership to get access to that. And basically, a lot more exclusive content. You'll be able to contact me more. I can mentor you, answer your questions, and I'll really give you the keys you know, to make it in the game. Um, but anyway... This episode, I'm going to try to run through um, a lot of these YouTube comments, uh, questions, and I'm going to answer them. And this will probably be (laughs) a long one or whatever, maybe like an hour or something. But uh, I'm going to drop some keys. Also, man, the uh, Scanfather merch is out. The shirts are out. Stickers are out. You can go to the MRI Man store on Etsy. Check that out. And then if you join the MRI Mafia, you will get exclusive merch like the MRI Mafia shirt. Um, Basically, this is going to be a tight knit community that we all, you know, share the keys to make it. Or if you're a student, we're going to mentor you and build you to the best tech and get you to where you want to be, whether it be a certain schedule, uh, money, 
um, locations. Uh, I'm connected, you know, basically worldwide up in this. But it's been a while, man, um, since uh, I got on this mic, man. And we've been doing this, man, what, 2017? Hopped on the mic, making videos, made videos through the pandemic. It was crazy. Um, kind of, you know, I got a little burned out. I had to take a break, and I was just like, what am I doing here? Um, I continue to post on my Instagram at The Real MRI Man. I'm pretty active on that. That's mostly just comedy and stuff like that. Here I'm on this YouTube channel, I'm giving you the keys um, on, you know, longevity in the game and the medical field and keys to life and um you know it's a lot more than just uh, you know parameters and all of that you know I, I tell you the truth about mri the real nitty-gritty you know what i mean the real stuff i don't try to sugarcoat it and give you all that bs you know what i mean you came to the right spot but um yeah uh, let me talk to you about what's going been going on with me if you saw my last video um i was talking to talking to you guys about I was uh, in the process of relocating and excuse me, man, I was in the process of relocating and it, you know, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. And, um, it, it, it just wasn't the right move for us at the time. So we're staying in the location where we're at. It's cool. Um, sometimes guys, you, you can't just force things to happen. They happen, you know, they should be happening smoothly in a timely manner and that's just kind of how i work um you know with the universe and all that let me take off these glasses man so i can see y'all as you notice i did cut my hair you know it was time (laughs) it was time it was a lot of work getting it braided and this and that but hey it'll grow back we'll see what's up but uh yeah man let's 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 get into that but uh yeah man everything's been going good with me eating healthy, working out. I did get back. If you guys knew, you know, followed me back in 2019, um, I was doing jujitsu back then, got injured, took some time off. I've been back. I've uh, been doing it since uh, November, November, December, January. So it's been like, I don't know, four or five months. Um, it's just, you know, you need something outside of work where you could, um, you know, have fun, um, I guess, you know, relieve some of that stress, decompress, um, you know, be around some cool people and, um, jujitsu has helped me out with it, with that in so many ways, um, you know, dealing with, you know, stress, um, just all the BS you can deal with at a hospital and like, you know what I mean? Like you go to jujitsu choke someone out you get choked out i leave that place just just happy man just super chill um it's because i get put through these uh stressful situations basically someone trying to tear off your limbs or choke you out i'm getting i'm getting put through stressful situations in jujitsu so when i go to my hospital job ain't nothing that that stressful ain't nobody really trying to you know kill me at the hospital choke me out break my limbs that that ain't happening so I, i already been put in stressful situation so when i go do something like you know at the hospital or doctors getting mad at me or patients going off whatever it's not it's not that big of a deal to me you know I, I'm, I'm just remaining calm and i've always been a calm person um and i've always played sports and a, a lot of other sports can do the same it's not just jujitsu it's not you know because when i used to play basketball and uh you know well skateboarding it was a similar thing. It was like, a, you know, a gateway, a path to just, you know, like become zen and chill, you know, let the anger out in the, on the board, you know, kick, flip and jumping down stairs or basketball driving in layups, you know, just, it w- you know, you need something. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And I, I've done different things. Um, you know, I did, uh, I was doing woodworking during, <laughs> I was doing woodworking, uh, through the pandemic and you know it just it just chilled me out calmed me down and had me focus on something and you know that's why i like jujitsu because i'm thinking with my mind it's like a chess kind of like a chess game with your body and it's like i've always been a big mma fan and um you know i've always been into some kind of fighting you know what i mean like boxing used to do that with uh 
I had some friends that were boxers. They would train me and stuff like that. And I was always kind of in the mix. I just never could afford it, you know. It's, it's, it's expensive, man, you know, to do these, like, martial arts and stuff. It's not cheap. Um, but anyway, I um, highly recommend you guys do something, man. Join a basketball league, you know, do whatever. Do whatever. Do something. Fishing, woodwork build clay pots i don't know art paint anything something outside of work where you can take your mind off of work and focus on something and get good at it and uh i think that's a key that's a big key anyway um that that, that's a whole nother video but uh yeah man you guys stay cool out there with that don't let work stress you out too much have some fun besides besides drinking and you know what I mean? Besides all that bullshit, you know, oh, I'm going to get drunk after work. I'm going to, you know, smoke this and that. Like, you need something else. You need to be active, man. Lift some weights. Lift some weights. Exercise. I love to do that. And that that's great. That That's great, too. If you can get a good exercise routine, huge stress reliever right there, man. Huge stress reliever. Um, but, yeah, we're going to uh, – let's see. We're going to get into these questions. I'm hopping to my app here, and we're going to answer some questions. Um, Here we go. Uh, First question is from LB Young, 8420, says, how many MRI coworkers do you work alongside on average every day? It's just me um, right now, and I have a tech aide. That's it. Honestly, I, you know, I prefer I prefer it that way. Um, I kind of like working alone or just with the tech aid is cool too. Um, I don't really like working in those environments where there's two machines. It's just too much going on, man. Like, cause like even though you're on one machine, you're gonna be dealing with the the machine on the other side as well, and it's just like, you know what I mean? You're gonna be dealing with their problems. They're gonna try to give you their patients. And it's cool. I like the whole team thing, but currently I like just one machine. I like working by myself, man. I like making my decisions and being responsible for them. All right, next one comes in. It's from Sam Virtus 7199 Is it easy getting in? I'm trying to get in now, but my physicals is holding up my application. I know they want 5K down. All right, so I guess he's trying to get into school and they want some money down. Yeah, that can be difficult, man. Uh, You're going to have to get some kind of loan. If you can't get a fast loan, you're going to have to get a personal loan, something along the matters of that. All right, I'm going to keep going down. This guy's talking about um, he brought a Fitbit to watch into the MRI, and it it died, and... (laughs) It doesn't work. Um, I don't recommend you guys bring your watches in there. Um, you know, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I do bring my my new uh, Samsung watch in there and the 1.5, and I never had a problem. My other uh, coworker, he brings his Apple watch in there, never had a problem. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to recommend it to you guys because if your watch breaks and you're going to come back, hey, my watch broke, man. Eh. It works for me. I got to count my steps. But uh, let's keep it moving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. This is like a speed run, all right? Um, let's see. I'm in my first year uh, freshman with major in healthcare administration. And now I'm thinking of MRI CT. What's your advice regarding schooling? Pay in general. Advice during schooling. Um, this is my advice to you, man. Like, you went from administration to now you want to be a tech. So my advice is for you to is to become a tech aide um, and see what it's like being an MRI tech or CT tech. See if this is for you. Do as much research as you can. Um, don't worry about pay because if you're just going to do it for the money, you're not going to last very long. Um, advice during schooling. If you can go to a community college and get into the rad, uh, radiology program, do it that way. It's much cheaper. Um, if you can't wait or whatever, just uh, do a private school. 
Um, but in that case, usually the, the private schools only give you MRI. But if you want to do both, do community college. That's my advice, you know. Okay, here's another one. <clears throat> Please, I need an honest answer to my question. I'm 51 years old, uh, thinking about going back to school and becoming an MRI technician, it's technologist. Uh, what do you think? Why not? Are you still... Are you still with it, man? Are you still with the technology? Are you keeping your mind sharp? You know, are you able to still learn? Because you're going to have to learn anatomy and physiology. You're going to have to go through all the tests. And, um, you know, you're going have to have to be able to pick up things. You know, some 51-year-olds, you know, it's different nowadays. Some, you know, 51-year-olds are like 40-year-olds now, right? 30, 40 or 30-year-olds. Some, some of them are in really good shape and they're, they're wise and they keep up with the technology. Um, I would say just go for it. Cause look, how long are you going to be working anyway? Till you're 67, 68. They're, they're trying to tell us we're going to be working till we're 70. So, um, I would say, I would say, why not? You know, just, just do it. Just do it like Nike. Um, it's only two years, two years. So just do it, bro. All right, let's keep it moving. Are you purely scanning only because each patient is about 30 to 40 minutes on average scanning minimum? Some are over one hour, 10 minutes prep to get dressed, get an IV in position. That's 40 minutes, 30 uh, with a 30 minute lunch. I don't know what the heck this guy's saying. He's basically saying, like, how is it? How are we able to this is this is comment is on a video where I said I scan like. 26 patients in a day in a 10 hour period the way that that could be done is that you have somebody they call them a facilitator or tech aid they're getting them ready they're starting their ivs and um, we're on a scanner mri scanner and we're doing like 10 12 minute scans so that's a, that's how you can do 26 plus patients it, it is possible keep it moving let's see um Guy said he's going into a program that costs thirty four thousand dollars. Is there any cheaper ones? I don't really think so, bro. Like I think that's like the bare minimum. Okay, we got another one here. What would I need to do in case someone denies denies me sedation? Oh, this is like a patient. They said what to do. What to do if uh, they deny sedation? Okay. Um. As a patient, you need to just ask your doctor um, to get you sedation, you know, right? I mean, if they don't want to give it to you at the facility, I'm, I don't know. Let's see. Hey, can I practice MRI without ART in Australia? I have, I have no idea, bro. Okay. I'm going to keep it moving. Hi, when you start the program, do you go straight without breaks? Yeah, the MRI program I did, um, I think we only had a couple days off, man. Some We had like a small winter break, a couple days off, spring break, a couple days off. But yeah, it was it was an accelerated program. It was a two-year program, um, private school, AA degree kind of thing. I went partially online it was like hybrid online and then you go every saturday for like six seven hours just keep it moving let's see how many questions i can get through man i'm in my anatomy class as a guy would you say that there's more guys longer down the line in the program what i i don't understand if he's saying he's the only guy I don't know. Is there more men or women in MRI? I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty close to being even. What's a correct uh, what's correct about the annual income? I watch over I watch other videos saying that the net pay was 300 to 450k a year. <laughs> what videos were you watching? Um it depends on where you're at. Um you know, California, 
I think you're I think you're thinking about like radiologists, to be honest with you. Here's the next one. Was it hard for you to get a job in SoCal without CRT license? Um, I do not live in SoCal. I moved from there because there wasn't many jobs. Uh, I'm in the Central Coast. So, yes, it was hard for me to get a job in SoCal. I did land a job. It was a temp. I was a temp. And getting paid good, but it's like you don't know how long you're going to be working. It's like you're temporary. So it's like I didn't like that. How tough was it passing the registry? Um, after I passed my exit exam, I studied for about a month and a half, maybe two, every day. Notes every day after work, study, study, study. I did MRI quiz. And I went in and I got like an 86. And it wasn't it wasn't hard that hard to me, to be honest with you. I put in a lot of work, though. Um, is the Gurnick? program the same style as your school i don't know i know it's a hybrid program as well but i'm not sure just call me do you know if you gotta complete a list of prereqs before applying to casaloma no you don't you don't have you don't need any prereqs and can i attend all day saturday yes yes you can i believe they still have that program Do you need to become a nurse first or can you go straight to MRI? You can go straight to MRI. Um, you do not need to be a nurse first. That is a completely different list of classes you got to take. Is there a way I can send you a PM for more extensive detailed questions? I don't know how to do it through this channel. Um, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to do that. You're just going to have to join the MRI mafia and you'll be able to ask me more extensive questions and I'll give you uh, more detailed answers um you'll be able to join that channel soon maybe now look below if it's a passion for you would you do this for free um yeah i would if if i had money like if i was a millionaire whatever yeah i would do mri for free yeah as long as I'm able to pay for my family and food and, you know, expenses, yeah, I'd do MRI for free if that was covered, but it's not, so I need to get paid. So it's like, but yeah, I would I would definitely volunteer, especially in like, you know, third world countries and where they need MRI techs. If I was a millionaire, I'd be all over the world helping out. Here's another one. I'm in nursing school now, and it's not for me. But I still want to be in the medical field. What are the prerequisites? Um, off top, I don't really know. It's like an anatomy, physiology, medical terminology, English, history, math. It's probably very similar. Um, talk to your counselor about that, bro. Is your license good for the only state you're in? No, I can work anywhere in the U.S. How many MRI techs are in the hospital where you work at? We only have two with one machine. I know, that's freaking nuts. Keep it going. I'm still working in uh, California, if you guys were wondering. That's what someone asked. Um, I live in Koreatown, and I'm considering applying for the application. Do you have an email address? Contact me through the MRI Mafia channel, and I'll, I'll let you know. Have I ever had a quencher machine? No, but a machine quenched while I was there in the building. They were like filling it with helium and it, it quenched. And yeah, it was crazy. Can you do pros and cons of working with many techs in a hospital and working alone in a trailer? That's a good video. I'm going to screenshot that. And. I'll get to that later. How is it like going to school and clinicals at the same time? Wow. It's pretty tough. I'll, that's another good video to do, but it's tough, but it, it is possible, man. It's a lot of mental toughness because your body can do a lot more than you think it can. It's A lot of times it's just in your head and you psych yourself out. Oh, no. I'm going six days straight. I'm going to die. No, you know, it's all it's a mental game. But I screenshotted that, too. That's another good video that I should I should write about. Um, 
I think that's I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm gonna start wrapping it up. But uh, yeah, a lot of good questions there, man. A lot of good questions. Um, I hope I, I answered a few of you guys' questions. That's why I decided to start this MRI Mafia um, subscription channel. Um, because you guys will be able to access me easier. I, I can't go through all these questions. So if you're part of the MRI Mafia, MRI Mob, all your questions are going to be expedited and I'll get to you quicker. You'll even be able to like schedule like a, a zoom or whatever with me and i can help you out man i really can um I, i'm working on some other projects like uh, study guides and you guys are going to have access to that first and yeah that's pretty much it um don't forget to like and subscribe you know what i mean because i don't know it's cool check out the mri man store follow me on instagram and check out all the cool memes and I'll, I'll i'll keep coming in man we're gonna we're gonna keep this rolling we're gonna keep this going but uh mri man out i mean scam father out capiche